Okay, what I will start with, I will take my 10 inches by 10 inches column. Like I will select this rectangle and I'm going to make one rectangle like this. Then I will click on this layer properties. I'm going to create one layer named as column and I'll give one color. So for me, red is suitable. So I'll give it as red color, okay, over here. And with that column, I'll clear, create one more layer named as B. I'll create one uh, layer named as B. And I will make one more uh, like dark blue for, uh, for my visibility in that. Now, uh, what I will do, I will double click on this column and I close and I will close this. Now, I will select one rectangle and I'm going to drag and make one column 10 inch by 10 inch column. I have to do hatching in this. Okay, so I will do select this hatch solid fill. Okay, this is solid. And uh, I am going to use the color as red color itself. Okay, I'm going to fill this column. Now, next, what you have to do, select this column and place it as uh, we used to do, like uh, copy selection, and then start placing it as you have done it in your uh, work. You can even place it in this format or however you like it. I will uh, rather prefer this one. Uh, this one complete the. Oh, let me see. I click copy selection and I'm going to place it from here. Select it from here and I'm going to place it over here. Okay. Now I will select all these three. Sorry, sorry. I will select these three columns. Right click, select similar, and I'm going to copy this over here. Uh, with this as my base point. Okay, like this. Hmm. It's emerging out fine. So select these columns like this, and I'm going to move it a little bit down. I'll please select this part and I'm going to move it a little bit down like this okay now i will select these three columns now this thing has been done i'm going to select this column right click copy selection i'm going to move it a little bit up parallel to this beam this beam it's over here okay then i will select this column right click copy selection and i'm going to this with perpendicular way direction I will move it later, like no, not like that. I will move it from here to here, just like this. Okay, and then I'm going to select this one, right click, copy selection, and uh, I will select this part and I will place it over somewhere over here. Okay, hmm. this is going to be well and fine. That is not a problem for me. Hmm. Okay. The next part, what I'm trying to, what I'll try to do over here is, um, let's select these three columns like this. Right click, copy selection, and I'm going to place this column exactly over here. So keeping this is these things in mind over here. Okay, this part has been completed. How many columns are? Three, 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 nine, and three, twelve. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this part I will select this part, these columns. Right click again, copy selection, and I'm going to move. Okay, sorry. Part I selected strong. Right click, copy selection, and I'm going to place it all these three over here. Okay. 
okay okay fine so this is arrangement this arrangement is coming from this side right so the uh, center line will be a little bit different from here hmm. sir one doubt yeah please ask me okay it is in this sir, eighth alignment. column will be stable huh eighth column which one uh wait eight. a second uh six from uh, seven from top left. this one yes stable in what sense you are saying in the moment and carrying the moment in the shear strength uh, because uh, yes yes, yes. Ha huh, it because will be from seventh it is a fourteen inches. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Actually, I'm going to increase the size. This ten inches by ten inches is the initial size. Okay. Yeah, I will increase the size later. First, we will uh, no, put it in Start Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, we will put it in Start Pro. Then only we will see to it what is the difference. Uh, for that, you have to first make it in AutoCAD, a center line plan. Mm, okay. So let's continue with this. What I was thinking is if I move this column a little bit this side, okay, then okay, let me do this. It's like this one, then I will select this, okay. And I will select this one. And I'm going to this, move this column to this side. Okay. Well, I'm fine. We'll see to it what else we can do over here. As we are going to increase this side, okay? The column size will be this side. So now distance, let me check it out. If I have to put one more column in between, I'll do it. This is 15 feet 8 inches so that we can increase the size and it will handle it easily. Rather, this is also going to be a lot more longer span. Yeah, okay, that will be well, well much fine. This is also 14 to 11 inches. This beam is going to land up over here. Yeah, this beam is going to join over here. Okay. Hmm. This is the column I am going to place. How many columns are there now? 3, 9, 12, and 315. I can place one more column. Okay. Hmm. Sir, uh, staircase, uh, staircase, sir. Only two men. Yeah, I can see that. This part also I have to one place one column and uh, I need to place over column over here also. Hmm. Okay, we'll see to it. But let uh, let's make it more stable by placing the column. This one, I will move this column uh, to here. Okay. Now this is will be on a single line. Well and good. This will be supported by here. And uh, if I place this huh? column, little bit upside. What is this span? Uh, this is center center. Ten feet five inches. So we can in, uh, like uh, we can increase this distance. So right click. I will move this column up to somewhere like a little bit parallel to this. And now we can uh, see the distance, like what is the complete distance it's, it's coming. So 15 feet 3 inches. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll place one more column over here, like this. Like this. So 3, a 9, 9 and uh, Six, fifteen, and one sixteen. I have placed it over here. Maximum, how much it is coming? Uh, sixteen point something, or it is fifteen point something, according oh. to the square foot. Sixteen point uh, uh, three five or something, sir. Okay, okay, fine, fine. So let's keep it as seventeen columns, not seventeen. 
that will heal too much from us. Now this part is getting more strength. Uh, this part is also getting more strength. Here, giving a column will not be that Sir, much. Uh, if, you hmm. if you remove that uh, fourth column and uh, we can place over there. This one. Uh, fourth, fourth one. So this is one, two, three, four. Okay, this one. Yeah, yeah okay, if I remove this column. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, we can place that uh, after the uh, tenth column parallel to that. No, uh, one, two, three, four, parallel five. Parallel to that tenth column and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. This is the no, tenth no, no, column. That, uh, hmm. Ninth, 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 ninth. Ninth one is this one. Okay, parallel to this. Okay. Like this. That's, uh, uh, hmm. No, no, they're not. After that column. After that. Okay, let me see. Three. Yes. Two, Which five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one. Ninth. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. So Tell perpendicular me. to that uh, second and the fourth one. Yeah, you're telling over here, no? Second, over here. And yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. No, I'm no. thinking of perpendicular that. Perpendicular to second, fourth. Perpendicular to second and fourth. So this is your second. And uh, this is my fourth so here you want to place one column right in this line yes so in this line it will it is going to be in somewhere space over here no no here not sir uh, no, no, over sir. here over here i'm exactly saying uh, ex yes 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 uh, so that's what i'm thinking now uh, for that only i was thinking uh, what to do so i'm not going to place a column over here rather uh, what i'm going to do is select these two columns and i'm going to move this up till here Till here, yeah. Exactly parallel to this. Okay, and I'm going to remove this column. And this one also, I will move this to the back side down. Here. Okay, now see. Uh, 3, 3, 3, 9. Uh, uh, 14 10. column. Yeah, 14. So I can place two more. Right, I have a chance to place two more. So I will copy this one. Uh, I will copy this better. So I will place it. Uh, where should I do it? Over here. But it will be too close. Let it be because this is your staircase. So it's important. And let copy this one. And I will place this column over here, somewhere over here. Okay. Okay, fine. So this is the idea what I'm getting. This is my column placement. Okay, let me see the distance now. What is the distance between these two columns? Okay, well and fine. So we can proceed with this uh, column placement. I am doing it. With, uh, just I did it. Uh, don't follow me. You have to think on your own. This is your uh, project. Assume it to be like this. Get it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Fine. So it is your project, and you have to do now. What do you have to do next is you have to make the beam. See over here. How am I making it the beam? How I am making the beam? So a beam and column. So from behind, let's start. Now this, wherever the wall is running, your beam will also run. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Yeah, everyone. Uh, in some cases, not all the walls. Hmm. Not all the walls. Means about this partition walls, beam will run or not through this partition walls? Hey, hello, guys. Are you able to hear me? Yes, 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 sir. Okay, okay. Well, you are actually so much active. Rest all are uh, kind of loose. But they are not much interested. So, guys, are you like? Do you think? Do you think this column placement is okay according to your thought? I'm asking. Whatever you know. Actually, I'm okay with this, sir. Actually, yeah. my uh, mine orientation is also exactly like this. Sim similar to this. Yeah, I've seen it. 
okay fine so everyone is okay then let's start the uh, uh, walls well, how to make the beam in this now now understand one thing there are two types of beams one is main beam and one is secondary beam okay there are two types of beams running throughout the structure one will be main so main will be column to column will be your main beam okay and uh, beam to beam connection will be a secondary beam or column to beam connection will be our secondary beam this is column to beam connection this will be our secondary beam are you able to get get the idea yes yes sir correct okay so okay, let's continue with this now let's start making the uh, uh, this thing beams now see here i have kept the plan in front of you this is your toilet area this is your bathroom and this side is your kitchen so your beam will be width will be minimum of the column width that is 10 inches so what you are going to do you are going to make the center line layout of the beam yeah and we will make offset uh, to the 5 inches not 5 inches 10 inches i will teach I'll, yeah that's what i'm going to tell you now this is your beam i will give a double click on this beam okay and i'll close this okay fine now what i'm going to do is i will take offset o enter and i'm going to take 10 inches offset for each and every beam 10 inches now this beam is going to in, going to be inside your toilet are you able to understand yes sir yeah now this beam is also going to yeah this is also going to be in your toilet area now here on both sides sir uh, yeah, yeah from both sides that is not a problem yeah tell me tell me Sir, once again, can you do that uh, offset? I didn't. Yeah, I'll do it. Here, uh, I will type oh, enter ten inches enter, and I'm going to give this beam inside this toilet and this beam inside this toilet. Ten inches. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now, wherever you see the five inches wall, you have to provide a beam to that. So now, if you see your column placement is over here, and this column placement is going inside, are you able to see that alignment? So for that, what you have to do, you have to align this column in this way itself. Please uh, switch off your mic. Yeah, please. Thank you. Like this, you have to align your column in this way. That it should come in a single beam center line layout. Now, let's. What I will do? Oh, enter. Ten inches. Enter this side, and then. Uh, okay let it be this side and then this side okay now are you do you agree with this kind of arrangement i should uh, put my beam inside this part see here this is your wash yes. and toilet area so we should be keep the beam inside this or inside the bedroom anyone inside the washroom sir inside the washroom. washroom sir okay that means what that means what we have to move this column a bit inside it that it will be covering this washroom isn't it Yes. Okay. Then I'll just move it. So we are going to move this one like this. Now you got the idea. Yes. Okay. Now what? Sir, is it do? okay with that uh, uh, middle column offset? Ha! Yeah. This the column will be over here, right? Where is the column? It is near to that door. Yes. Yeah. So it will be okay. Yeah. Definitely, it will be okay. What is wrong in this? Okay, sir. Yeah. So let's take this offset of how much? Ten inches from this side to this, and then this side to this, and this side to this. So if, if someone is not agreeing with this kind of thing, uh, just you can say to me. Okay, fine. Uh, I think look like everyone is agreeing with that. Hmm. no problem now this is your beam running throughout the structure i mean this is your, this is the beam running throughout are you all able to see that this is how you have to make it yes okay now next move yeah let's move uh, further with this now what i'm going to do this column is lying outside we have to provide beam like this this side here. okay and this beam is going to join this one so e x will enter and join this completely like this to the midpoint 
okay and then give an offset or enter then it is enter this side also like this then give 10 inches to this side over here now you should not go inside the toilet because your column is outside and it is very much necessary your uh, your column has to be outside uh, am i audible to you guys because the net connection is unstable Yes, sir. Uh, your voice yes, is sir. audible, uh, but but uh, screen was the not system is getting stuck. Okay. Somewhat stuck, sir. Now it is uh, okay, visible, and uh, screen is moving. Yes, it is moving, but uh, in somewhat the uh, middle of that, uh, it gets stuck. Acha, acha. So uh, I just did offset of ten inches over here. Yes, sir. and because we cannot alter the column over here so that's why the now the toilet part is gone we are not bothered about the architecture we have to focus on the column uh, part that is the structure part okay i hope that you are able to understand hmm. offset yes sir yes sir okay 10 inches again and then i'm going to give this as 10 inches again okay, over here in this way and uh, let it be continue from here okay fine fine now this is also a beam it will be joining over here okay just uh, don't leave it okay this will be a beam completely joining over here okay now this one i need to give this as this like this the beam okay okay this is also done now take an offset we'll put this beam inside the puja room this is a puja room i'll put it inside now i'm going to extend this line like this really okay and i am going to give this to column also one 10 inches of beam now it is clear to everyone here also you have to give a beam yes, Yeah. Here also you have to give a beam. See over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So this is all. Shelter. Yeah, shelter. So now, uh, now this is what you have to make the center line layout. Here also the beam is running through uh, this toilet zone, and this is also one beam running through this toilet zone. So you we you can also give the beam over here. Uh, so let's give it offset of ten inches, and I'm going to give this ten inches inside, and I'm going to give this ten inches uh, either side you okay. can give. Okay. Yeah. so let's give it in in this side because uh, this is the my toilet area this is my toilet area okay let it be okay now it is clear to you all yes sir yes sir yeah oh, okay fine so now this is what you have to make the beam in such a way uh, like i have made it and now select this one completely right click uh, copy selection select one part of it and move it to this side now what you have to do is uh you have to now use the beam beam like beams yeah so beam line means select these lines outer lines every outer lines you just select it okay uh, every outer line this also should be up to here okay now this after selecting this or matlab lines first you select all these outer lines wherever your beam will be running through okay yeah i must have done it in layers itself at first but i forgot to do it but now i'm doing it so you can do it from before itself so select these beams with like these lines focus on this over here these are all nothing but your beams running throughout the structure Like this. Sir, if we do in layers, we can make easy, you know, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We At first layers, itself. Yeah, 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 exactly. At first. Okay. But I, yeah, I forgot to do that. I thought it was the same okay, layer. Okay. Okay. I think that. Even though I could have done it in uh, black color itself, but it won't be good by the architect point of view. I mean, it won't look good. And professionals don't work like that. Means they will give different color to the beams. for others to understand yes sir okay 
find them. Uh, it's just completed. So it took me just around uh, uh, two more minutes to do it. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now, as we have given it, we have to give the layer of it as beam. Okay, then press escape and come out of the command. Now we have done our beam, uh, this thing, beam and other thing. Now let's, let's switch off the other things that we don't need it. Like a zero layer and this def points. We don't need these points. Now we are only left with our column and beam. So we can trim off the unnecessary part like this. Okay. ER, we will enter and trim off the unnecessary parts. See here. Okay. Uh, are you all able to see it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Just trim off these lines. These extra lines. I hope uh, everything has been trimmed properly. If there is any, just tell me. Inform me if you are able to see in this. I hope everything I have removed. Yes, sir. Everything is clear. Okay. No, uh, at last uh, staircase. Yeah. Either side of the staircase. Yeah, this one. Okay. Okay. Now next, anywhere else? Either side, sir. Either side of the staircase. This one. Between uh, that uh, parking and uh, staircase. Ah, yes, sir. Now it is clear. Okay. This much is slow. It is. Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay. Uh, but I hope you have understood how to make this one be completely. Yes. Yes. And now, yeah. Now create one layer. Okay. Create one layer. Name it as. Uh, trace or name it as your yeah, center line or whatever you want to. So I will keep it as center line TL. You, okay, just type, yes, yeah, you just type it fully. Don't type in short form and give one color like as very bright or some kind of very dark color to it. Dark maroon will be okay. Well and fine. And change the line type from continuous to load it from here. Uh, change the line type hidden or center into two center X2. This one. Anything you can select. If you want to select, if you have worked with hidden, no problem. I'll take hidden. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, well and fine. Select this hidden and okay. Now you have done it over here. Now double click on this. Close this. Take a line randomly and draw it from the center of this column to the other part. Extending, extending a bit more distance. Keep in mind, it should be straight. That That is what you have to keep in mind. And now select this one, extend a little bit more to it. Okay, now, uh, yeah, now right click. Oh, sorry, select this one, right click, copy selection. Now select this one and copy to the center of each and every column first. It should be actually passing from each and every center of the beam, wherever you are, you are seeing beam in this horizontal part, okay? Now what you will do, what you will do, take a line. Yeah, take a line, make a like line like this. Okay. Again, wherever you are seeing the beam in this vertical direction. Yes, wherever. Like over here. Don't worry, don't worry about that center line part. This line type. Don't worry, worry about that. Okay, this is also one beam over here. So we have to make one line. So vertical beams, vertical beams, vertical beams. Three completed. Now here also one beam is there. Make a line, then this completely vertical completed. Okay. The next, any other vertical beams? Yes, this one. So let's make a line. This is a very small beam. Otherwise, I don't think so. I will we will be needing this beam over here. Okay. I don't find any other vertical beams. Now select this one. Right click, copy selection. Okay, copy it uh, from here, this point exactly from this point and place it at the center of this. You can see the midpoint. Okay, then go back and uh, find out the other beams, whatsoever is left. I think so, this is only the center. Hmm. 
okay then uh, select this part as your center beam then select this part as your center beam center line of this beam and then that's it now the vertical part has been completed same way you have to make the horizontal like the line select from this column and make it up to some extent extend it it make sure it is ortho is on okay now select this one and extend this up to some distance okay is it clear now select this one right click copy selection if you have any doubt you can ask me no sir no doubt okay fine so likewise we will uh, do it in this way okay don't worry about the height and all we will see that later first you have to make it like this okay is there any beam wherever the beam is there you should, you have to make it so okay only one horizontal beam is left that is this one so let's take a line make it this center point center point and then make a uh, copy this line any sing any line like like this i'll copy this and i'm going to select this part and i'm going to place it over at the center so now your center line of the beam has been completed are you able to see yes sir yeah now make a rectangle over here like this make a rectangle over here like this and then ex double enter extend those lines which were uh, small like this which were not able to reach that so if if any line is there they will be it will be automatically taking that distance perfect like this and then trim off the unnecessary part so that's it clear you can do it hello yes sir yeah clear you can do it right so do it clear this yes, this, has, this line has not been extended up to there so don't uh, do that mistake wait uh, e x enter now let's extend this line to up to there yeah like this so uh -huh, yeah finally we have done it we have done it completely fine so let's delete this rectangle so this is what you have to do in your uh, project whatever the column and howsoever you have placed the column doesn't matter so make it and Sir, send your can you zoom it for a for a second yeah okay sir fine so